Hello class 10 students. We are discussing chapter number 6 life processes. We are still on digestive system and this is one of the important question. What is acidity during the digestion? Right? So some people they suffer from the problem of acidity. What is it? You people know that food first goes in the mouth, then it goes in the food pipe and then it goes in the stomach. Right? Now the pH of stomach is acidic. When I say acidic pH, of course it has to be lower than 7. Because this we have already understood in the pH video, right? So if this is the oesophagus and this is the stomach, right? Now in the stomach, what do we have? We do have acid. And there is an opening that regulates the closing and opening. This is known as splinter. So splinter is a group of muscles that are present between the esophagus and the stomach. Splinter opens whenever food has to pass from esophagus to the stomach. You know sometimes what happens, this splinter opens. And as a result of it, the acid which is there in the stomach, it comes in the esophagus. And what it gives? It gives burning sensation. It gives burning sensation because this is the property of the acids. Which acid is there in the stomach? HCl or hydrochloric acid. So, stomach is being protected by mucus along its wall means mucus is present throughout the stomach so that HCl cannot act upon the stomach wall. But if the acid will come in the esophagus, esophagus does not have any protection like this. So it will definitely give the burning sensation. This burning sensation in the esophagus is known as acidity. Now we already know that acidity is due to the acidic pH and whenever there is acidic pH, H ions are more than OH ions or hydroxyl ions, right? These are hydrogen ions which are also known as H ions and these are hydroxyl ions. So whenever acid pH is there, in the case of acid pH, this would be the case. Now, if I add upon OH ions, of course, the acidic pH will come to neutral, right? Because if you keep on adding OH to H ion, it will make water. So, it will be getting, each H ion will be getting neutralized by each hydroxyl ion, right? So, same thing we do. Generally, the people who suffer from acidity, they take antacids. Now, what are these antacids? These are with the basic pH. And why we are giving basic pH? Because when basic pH has OH ions, and these OH ions will combine with the H ions, as a result, the pH will be brought to neutral. Right? So, we have already seen in the pH video that value lies from 1 to 14. 7 is the mid value which means neutral. So, our acidic pH lies here. If we are giving antacids, then it will be brought along this line. So, acidity is always cured by taking antacid syrups which removes the H ions and make the pH neutral. I hope it is clear to everyone what is acidity and why it happens. There are certain foodstuffs also which causes acidity. So the people who frequently face such problem, they need to avoid certain foodstuffs in their diet. My question for this video is, what is the range of pH to be a basic one. Means you need to tell the value from which to which lies and if that would be the value you will 
count the pH as to be a basic pH, right? So you can come up with the answers in the comments section. Definitely a reward will be given to you by taking a shout out and by replying to your comment. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't till now because you will get the video on each topic that is there in the NCRT along with important questions. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.